What is up, Light Fam? Welcome to another video. My name is David. Uh, I get a lot of questions from people that have either just had a spiritual awakening, or maybe they haven't had that spiritual awakening yet, but they're starting to question an old limiting paradigm that they may have had all of their life that just isn't quite making any sense anymore. And a lot of that has to do with the Great Awakening, uh, but that's a different video. <laughs> so a lot of people will just ask the question, what is spirituality? So I thought that that was a great video topic. So this video is going to answer the question, what is spirituality? It will be a video that is more spirituality for beginners, um, but it will be a great refresher for those of you that are already on your spiritual journey. So let's get to the business of answering the question, what is spirituality? Let's go. If you are new to the channel and this type of content resonates with you, please smash that notification bell so you don't miss the twice weekly spiritual tutorials that I post. If you want to see more videos on a spiritual awakening, spirituality for beginners, please click the subscribe button. Remember to have a look around in the description box below. We've got the free 30 minute guided meditation on abundance. You can also sign up for some one-on-one -on -one coaching, some Zoom sessions to work on your spiritual stumbling blocks. Now let's get into the video. So what is spirituality? How would you explain spirituality for beginners? Well, first I would say being spiritual means understanding that you are not a victim to your circumstances. It's actually your circumstances that are the victim to your vibration. <laughs> your circumstances are the effect. Your vibration is the cause. So being spiritual means taking responsibility for everything that has shown up in your life. And you have an inner knowing and understanding that you are actually creating the physical reality that you experience. Everything in the universe is frequency, vibration, and energy. And being spiritual means becoming aware of your own frequency, thoughts, intentions, and focus, and know that those frequencies, thoughts, focus, and intentions are lining you up to experience in the physical, the vibrational match to those attributes. What is spirituality? How would you explain spirituality for beginners? Well, I would say that spirituality is going within for your answers, your power, your peace. You are infinite omniscience, having a physical, temporary human experience. All of your answers, your power, your peace, your wholeness, your completeness are already within you because they are you. You already are all of those things. So spirituality is simply going within to align with what you already are. Spirituality is no longer believing that uh, your peace and your power is wrapped up in some concept outside of yourself, maybe sitting in the clouds, judging whether or not you deserve peace and happiness. No, spirituality is understanding that you are the walking physical embodiment of peace itself, power itself happiness itself, which means that those things cannot be awarded or taken away by any concept outside of yourself. Spirituality is taking responsibility for your vibration and everything that shows up in your life. When you take responsibility, you take your power back. Having power over your life means acting and walking in your intention taking responsibility for everything that shows up and then adjusting your vibration and your focus so that you do experience the reality that you wish to experience from there. Um, when we acquiesce <laughs> and say, whoa is me, why is this happening? Why me? We're giving up all of our power. Instead, we should ask empowering questions like, what is this obstacle trying to birth within me? What type of person would I need to become to overcome this obstacle? Or what qualities would I need to have to overcome this obstacle? If I gave birth to those qualities within me, would that allow my greatest version to then step into my current reality? See, we start asking empowering questions, we start getting empowering answers. 
And it's those empowering answers that will typically lead you to your life's purpose, your life's passion, because you usually have to birth your greatest version to overcome the obstacle, which begs the question, who sent that obstacle in the first place? This obstacle that caused you to be your greatest version. Was it really an obstacle or was it a stepping ladder to get to your next higher spiritual level? Maybe your higher self sent that obstacle as an answer to a question that you may have posed to the universe. Like, what's my purpose? What's my passion? What's my greatest version? The universe will give you that answer through experience and through gnosis so that that new identity becomes a part of your subconscious belief system. And we all know that it's our subconscious belief system that creates the reality that we experience. I read an amazing quote that said, the obstacle is the path. That's powerful. Uh, it kind of reminds me um, a lot about what's going on right now with the Great Awakening, where the collective consciousness is going through that chaotic period that's hopefully forging a greater version. So this is why taking responsibility for your vibration and everything that shows up in your life is so powerful because it forces a greater version of you to be birthed, which does give you greater control over the reality that you experience. When your spiritual growth levels up, you have greater control over the reality that you um, experience. You know, this is why I always uh, cringe when I see these memes. The power of letting go. Let go of the things you can't control. Lord, give me the serenity to accept the things I can't control. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. All right, listen. Most of that stuff, largely, not all of it, not in all cases, but largely most of that stuff is just bypassing. Bypassing the responsibility of your frequency, bypassing the responsibility of what has shown up in your life, and bypassing the responsibility of being outside of your comfort zone. You're just bypassing being uncomfortable. When you just slough it off to Jesus and say, hey, uh, I can't figure this out, Jesus, take care of that. I'm just gonna go over here and have an ice cream. <laughs> okay, well, the universe is going to say, hmm, clearly this person hasn't learned the lesson. Guys, these obstacles show up not to punish you. They show up to teach you. They show up as lessons. They show up to level you up to make you grow spiritually. So when you slough it off to Jesus or whatever you're believing in, you're not doing the work. You're not fixing your focus and your vibration and you're not leveling up spiritually. You're not learning the lesson. You're learning how to be codependent, but you're not learning the lesson. You know, if Jesus is your thing, and I don't mean to get into Bible verses here, but let's go to the Bible. Jesus said, greater deeds than these ye shall do. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Is it not written, ye are gods? Jesus is telling you right there in black and white, you have all the power. So stop being codependent. Because if you don't stop being codependent, the universe is going to continue to send that repeating cycle because you're not doing the work. You're not learning the lesson. You're sloughing it off to, to Jesus. You know, there's no situation where the parent doesn't want the offspring to grow up and be a fully functioning, self-sufficient adult. I don't know any parent that wants their 40-year-old offspring sleeping on the couch down in the basement. Why would Jesus be any different? <laughs> Jesus wants you to step up and change your focus change your vibration and take action and put in the work and change the reality that you have all the power in the world to change. The universe, your life, everything you are experiencing, even down to atoms and protons and tiny molecules, everything is frequency, vibration, and energy. Master those three things and you will largely uh, control what you experience in your physical reality. And I say largely because, at least in my experience, 90 to 95% of what shows up is what I intend to show up. So that little 5% that you feel you can't control, there's no need to have Jesus take the wheel over that little 5%.
<laughs> you're gonna take a lot off of his plate if you just take responsibility for your frequency, your vibration, and your focus. And it's my belief that that 5% that we believe is out of alignment with our focus is actually being overridden by your higher self because your higher self knows what you really want. Your higher self knows what your purpose was before you decided to incarnate. Your higher self knows what you really are. So your higher self is going to bring that obstacle to level you up so that your greatest version that was always meant to come to fruition can come to fruition. So that 5%, don't stress out over that, that has probably shown up to level you up. Now, question of the day. What is spirituality? How would you explain spirituality for beginners? Leave those comments below, like fam, I would love to get an open discussion on this one. If you liked the video, then please like the video. <laughs> I have to think of something new, guys. Uh, if you want to see more videos on a spiritual awakening, what is spirituality, spirituality for beginners, moving from 3D to 5D, the great awakening, 5D consciousness, the collective consciousness, we got it all here at Lightways, as you can tell. Please click the subscribe button. Uh, also remember to add me over on Instagram, underscore Lightways. I do answer a lot of questions over there. Um, again, have a look around in the description box below. We still have the free 30 minute guided meditation on abundance. Again, if you have Gmail, that meditation will most likely be under the promotions tab. You can also sign up for some one-on-one -on -one Zoom coaching sessions. We can work on some reprogramming limiting beliefs, some spiritual stumbling blocks. We can make you a, your, your greatest version, basically. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. If you know anyone that is going through a spiritual awakening and they have the question, what is spirituality? Then please share this video with them. It may give them the insight that they need to get on the spiritual path, take control over their life and create their own reality. Once again, rambling as usual. I will see all of you guys in the next video. You know what it is. Light, love and abundance to all that are watching and to all you love. Peace guys.